right, St. Ignatius, Westlake, and Cloverleaf battle for the championship on Academic Challenge. Academic Challenge is brought to you by Westfield Insurance. And now, here's the host of Academic Challenge, Jason Nicholas. Oh, hello, good evening. I'm Jason Nicholas, and welcome to Academic Challenge. After 26 weeks, 78 teams, and over 2,000 questions, tonight we play for the Academic Challenge Championship Finale and crown our 46th season champion. These three teams finished the regular season at the top of the point standings and earned a spot here tonight in the championship. At the end of tonight's show, one will become our new champion. Before, though, we begin, let's review the final standings. These teams round out the top 10, and Westfield Insurance will award each of these schools a $1,500 grant. The three teams meeting tonight will share nearly $10,000 in grant money with the champion receiving $4,000 from Westfield Insurance. So not only are tonight's teams vying for the season champion, they're also playing for their share of grant money for their schools. So let's get started now. Our opening match of the championship finale. It is the lightning round. This round, all three teams compete. We award 10 points for a correct answer. We subtract 10 points for an incorrect or no answer. And we start each team tonight with 100 points. As Academic Challenge finalists, you know a lot about ancient history, but let's see how you do with current history. Identify these people or events that made news in the last 12 months. All right, the Winter Olympics took place in this Russian cloverleaf. Sochi. Sochi is right. He celebrated his 25th year on the throne of Japan. Westlake. Akihito. That is correct. This movie was awarded the most recent Best Picture Oscar, Cloverleaf. 12 Years a Slave. 12 Years a Slave, yes. His book, Inferno, spent many weeks. St. Ignatius. Dante. Dan Brown. The Euro was adopted by this Baltic country where Riga is the capital. Westlake. Latvia. Latvia is correct. Bill de Blasio was elected mayor of this largest Westlake. New York City. New York is right. Death came to this man. South Africa's first black president, Cloverleaf. Mandela. Mandela, yes. His son was born to this British prince. And his wife, Westlake? William. His wife, Catherine William, is correct. This NFL team won the last Cloverleaf? Uh, the uh, Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks. They won the Super Bowl. That is right. For our final lightning round question, let's go over to News Channel 5's Chris Flanagan. Making financial news recently is what internet currency stored in digital wallets and available since 2009, which is generated through the process of mining? St. Ignatius. Bitcoins. Bitcoins, correct. And that is the end of the round. We'll be back. We'll meet the teams as Academic Challenge continues. Welcome to the conclusion of an exciting season. During today's show, the top teams will compete to determine this year's champion. Westfield Insurance is proud to sponsor a program that celebrates academic excellence. We provide grants to the top teams for the schools to use for educational purposes. On behalf of Westfield's employees and our independent agency partners, thank you for tuning in. And join us again next year for another great season. the Academic Challenge Championship. Now it's time for a mix it up round here. Answers are worth 20 points. There's no penalty for an incorrect answer. If a team answers all six questions correctly, they'll receive those very important 25 bonus points. First, let's learn a little bit more about team number one, St. Ignatius. Remember, St. Ignatius, 690 points in the regular season. This is their fourth time in the top 10 and the second time in the championship. St. Ignatius, the captain, is John. John, you plan on doing some volunteer work this summer. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I volunteer at St. Malachy, and I am a member of St. Ignatius's Paul Bearer Ministry. All right, terrific. Over to Phil. Phil plans on being a counselor. Tell us more about that. Yes, I'm going to be a counselor at Camp Homie, Dakota, in Newberry, Ohio, and I would like to thank our coach, Mr. Barker. All right, terrific. Over to Raphael. Raphael is in the band. Tell us more about yourself. Um, 
I'm also uh, looking at a job for uh, Progressive Field over the summer, okay. and I'd like to uh, thank our parents and uh, everyone else who supports us. All right, go Tribe. Okay, Phil, John, Raphael, St. Ignatius, gentlemen, these questions just for you. If you look carefully at this phrase, you can find hidden in it the name of what other island, the U.S. territory in the Pacific? Guam. Guam is right. These were two Civil War nicknames for Northerners who sympathized with the South. The third nickname was that of what poisonous snake? Copperhead. Copperhead, correct. You'll find these three topics in your history books, but not in this order. Arrange them chronologically. Ghent, Northwest Ordinance Prohibition. No, it's a Northwest Ordinance, then Ghent, then Prohibition. What same last name is shared by J.E.B., a Confederate Army officer, and Gilbert, the artist whose painting of George Washington is on the $1 bill? Stewart. Stewart is right. By firmly rearranging these letters, you can name what sort of wedge-shaped writing found on clay tablets from ancient Babylonia? Cuneiform. That is right. This is a quote here from what American poet who took life by the throat with such poems as Fire and Ice and The Road Not Taken? Robert Frost. Robert Frost is right. Well done, Ignatius. Strong performance. All right, team number two is Westlake. Westlake uh, was in our first show of the season, scored 720 points, and held the top spot since then. First time in the top 10 and first time in the championship. Allen is the captain of Westlake. Allen's involved in the drama club. Tell us more, Allen. Uh, I'm also in the TV and radio club, uh, WHBS. I intend to spend the summer traveling with my family. And I want to thank our alternates, Pavani Reddy and Alex Latham. Okay, very good. Over to Aswin. Aswin involved in the Lincoln-Douglas debate. Tell us more. Uh, this summer I'll be practicing with the team and doing research for seven weeks at Stony Brook University. I'd like to thank our advisors, Mr. and Mrs. Backus. Terrific. Over to Eleni. Eleni is involved in Latin. Tell everyone at home more about Eleni. This summer I'll be attending the National Latin Convention at Emory University, and I'd like to thank everyone who came out to support us today. All right, Westlake, these questions only for you. Let's start. Look at this phrase. You can find the hidden name of what gland where you find the islets of Longerhans. Pancreas. That is correct. These are both landmarks in what Italian city on the Adriatic Sea? Venice. Venice is right. Here you see three different measures of volume. Arrange them in order of size, starting with the smallest. Forty pints, two liters, one gallon. Not two liters. One gallon, 40 pints. What same name is shared by these very different people, the Revolutionary War tra traitor and the World War II hero, who was the only five-star Air Force general? Arnold. Arnold is right. Arrange these letters in this phrase to name what Aztec emperor who welcomed but was then captured by Cortez? Montezuma. Montezuma is right. This was one traveler's description of what South American country whose two capitals are La Paz and Sucre? Bolivia. Bolivia is correct. Well done, Westlake. Again, only missed one. It's the championship. Strong performances finally is Cloverleaf. Cloverleaf, 680 points in the regular season. They were tied with Olmsted Falls and won in a tiebreaker. The third time we've had a tiebreaker. This is the first time Cloverleaf's been in the top 10 and the first time as well in the championship. Brian is the captain of Cloverleaf. Brian is also the captain of the swim team. Tell us more about Brian. Um, I plan to go to Ohio State University next year. And I would like to thank all of our family and friends that came out to support. Future Buckeye, over to Joseph. Joseph plans on going to Hiram. Tell us more about Joseph. Uh, yeah, I recently decided to go to Hiram College, and I'd like to thank our coach, Cameron Flint, for always sticking with us. Terrific. Over to Ashley. Ashley is heading to Buckeye Girls State. Hi, Ashley. Tell us more. Um, I'm also in student council and um, NHS. That's and, good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you didn't have to stop, but fantastic. Joseph, Brian, Ashley, Cloverleaf, these questions just for you. Hidden in this statement is the name of what legendary Greek beauty whose abduction by Paris was supposedly uh, started the Trojan War? Helen. Helen is right. If these men were to step out of your history books and onto a baseball field, their original occupations would lead them to join what National League team? Brewers. Uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates, the correct answer. Each of these scientific discoveries occurred in a different century. Arrange them chronologically. Vulcanized nuclear optics. Sure, go ahead. 
uh, pendulum, vulcanized rubber, fiber optics. Correct. Well done. What same last name is shared by these two Americans? One, the author of the Battle Hymn of Republic. The other, the inventor of the sewing machine. Need an answer, guys. Okay. How? How is right. If you aspire to earn 20 points, rearrange the letters here to name what ancient empire whose rulers included Cyrus and Xerxes. Persian. Persian is right. This self-confident statement was made by what British general? The Duke who defeated Napoleon at Waterloo. Wellington. Wellington is right. Well done, Cloverleaf. Boy, all three teams, very strong, each only missing one question. This is the Academic Challenge Championship, our 46th season. Stay close. I'm Craig Hassinger of Seabrook Tech, a Westfield partner, bringing you the sharing knowledge, building trust question. What do 19% of teen drivers consider their biggest distraction? For the answer and a chance to win an iPad mini, visit westfieldinsurance.com slash academic challenge. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. This is our championship. Let's recap the score so far tonight. In third place, 200 points, St. Ignatius. Tied for the lead right now, 240 Westlake. They are tied with Cloverleaf, 240 points. It is still very early. Now it is time for our picture perfect round. Each correct answer here is worth 10 points, but a wrong or no answer will cost 10 points. All three teams are playing here. So hands on your buzzers, eyes on the monitor. Here we go. Just as in biblical times, a water wheel is being operated in Egypt, where most water comes from what major river? Cloverleaf. Nile. Nile is right. This is a photo from one of the ballistic tests on the gun of Nicolas Sacco, executed in 1927, along with what fellow anarchist? Ignatius. Fenzetti. Fenzetti is right. This type of lizard, sometimes called blood sucker, can be found on what Indian Ocean Island, whose largest city is Colombo? Westlake. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, right. What is the X coordinate of the vertex of this parabola? Ignatius. Negative two. Negative two is right. This covered wagon was photographed as it passed through Westlake. Oregon. Trail. Saint, uh, through what Missouri town that was the eastern terminus of the Pony Express? St. Joseph is the right answer, sorry. These words title the memoirs of what French army captain who spent five years on Devil's Island after having been wrongly convicted Cloverleaf? Dreyfus. Dreyfus is right, a 16th century artist drew this rather peculiar sketch of what large animal that once roamed Ignatius? Bison. Bison or buffalo, correct. This issue of Cleveland Magazine looks back to 1898 when Clevelander Alexander Winton became the first American to sell a standard-made gas-powered car for how many dollars represented by the Roman numeral M? Cloverleaf. 1,000. 1,000 is right. Well done there. That does it for the picture perfect round. Who will be our next champion? Cloverleaf. Stay close, you'll find out. Let's welcome our team advisors tonight from Cloverleaf, Cameron Flint from St. Ignatius, John Barker, and from Westlake, John Packus and Sandy Packus. Time to get back in the way now. Hot picks one at a time. I'll ask each teammate questions. Correct response, 20 points. No penalty for a wrong answer. Any team going eight for eight will receive 25 bonus points. First up, Ignatius. We go over to Westlake. Allen, what will it be? One, two, three, or four? Envelope number three for St. Ignatius. Gentlemen, these questions just for you. Let's start. We have 26 letters in our alphabet, but there are 63 characters. In what system of raised dot lettering named for the blind Frenchman who created it? Braille. Braille is right. As its name might suggest, the Canadian town of Argento was settled by miners in search of what metal that has the chemical symbol AG? Silver. Silver is correct. The city of Jacksonville, Florida is in a time zone that's one hour ahead of the time in what Florida capital? Tallahassee. Tallahassee is right. To the monitor your science question. In 1940, a research team led by Glenn Seaborg was the first to isolate what element whose atomic number is 94? 
plutonium. Plutonium, correct. While sailors were exploring new sea routes, painters like da Vinci were exploring new artistic concepts during the period known by what name, meaning rebirth? Renaissance. Renaissance, yes. The only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about, said what Anglo-Irish wit whose novel The Picture of Dorian Gray is still being talked about? Oscar Wilde. That is right. To the monitor your math question, evaluate this expression here. Seven. Seven is right. 25 bonus points possible here. St. Ignatius. If you were touring South American capital cities in alphabetical order, you'd first you'd go first to Asuncion in what landlocked country? Paraguay. 25 bonus points. <laughs> St. Ignatius. Nice job. Team two is Westlake. We go over to Brian from Cloverleaf. Brian, one, two, or four? Uh, two. Envelope number two for Westlake. These questions just for you. Written in the purest Arabic, there are 114 chapters called Surah in what sacred book of Islam? The Quran. Quran is right. Though Alabama's bicentennial is still five years away, there are already plans being made in what capital city? Montgomery. That is right. Maps of Greenland feature a region named God have a word with the same optimistic meaning as the two word name of what cape near the southern tip of Africa? The Cape of Good Hope. That is correct. To the monitor your science question, the law of definite proportions was developed by which of these scientists whose book Atomic Theory had great impact on the study of chemistry? Avogadro. No, it's John Dalton. A package of dog treats would have been useful to someone trying to get past with three-headed dog that guarded the gates of Hades. Cerberus. That is right. Scholars believe that Shakespeare wrote at least one scene for a drama about what 16th century political figure, the author of Utopia. Hobbes. Sir Thomas More. To the monitor your math question, if, uh, if x equals 2, what is the value here? One. One is right. Vasco de Balboa was the Spaniard who first saw the Pacific Ocean. But what other Vasco was the first Portuguese navigator to reach India by sea? Da Gama. Vasco da Gama is right. Well done, Westlake. Good run there. Finally tonight, Cloverleaf. We go back over to John from St. Ignatius. John, one and four. Four. Envelope number four. Four. Our friends from Cloverleaf. Here we go. Five Quarts is the title of a book about what substance which people donate by the pint to the Red Cross? Blood. Blood is right. Come on. Here we go. Though she may or may not have saved the life of Captain John Smith, what daughter of Chief Powhatan did marry John Rolfe of the Jamestown Colony? Pocahontas. That is correct. The earth revolves around the sun, but what other R initial word describes the turning of a planet on its axis? Rotation. That is correct. To the model to your science question, Celsius set at the boiling point of water at sea level at 100 degrees on his temperature scale. If he had done his experiments on a mountaintop, 100 degrees Celsius would be closer to which of these degrees Fahrenheit? 190. 190, correct. When his pamphlets angered the French government, Voltaire escaped to what lakeside Swiss city, later the seat of the League of Nations? Geneva. Geneva is right. Toe of frog and tongue of dog are two of the ingredients that three witches boil in their cauldron in what Shakespeare play set in Scotland? Macbeth. Macbeth is right. What is the value of this expression here on the monitor? Uh, 64. 64. 64 is right. 25 bonus points possible. The world's oldest continuing parliament is the Althing in what North Atlantic country whose capital is Reykjavik? Iceland. 25 bonus points! <laughs> For Cloverleaf. That's the end of the round. Pretty tight match. The grab bag round is coming up next. We are moments away from crowning our new season champion. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Academic Challenge Championship. Before we continue, let's recap the score so far tonight. Third place, 360 points. Westlake, second place, 415. St. Ignatius, Cloverleaf in the lead right now, 455. It is now time for the grab bag round. This is free for all each correct answers. We're 20 points, but a team will lose 20 for a wrong or no answer. Also, some visual questions here. Those are plus or minus 30. Again, this is for all three teams, and this will determine our season champion. Our grab bag round begins now. Not surprisingly, the art museum that attracts the most visitors each year is what Paris institution where St. Ignatius Louvre. is right. The Valley of Amazement is the most recent novel by what woman who had previously written the Joy Luck Club? Ignatius. Tammy. Tammy. 
Uh, Tanny. Ted. Sorry, Tan is the right answer. In 1945, a dog named George accompanied Marines landing on what Japanese held Pacific Island Westlake? Uh, Okinawa. Iwo Jima. To the monitor, when this photograph was taken in 1904, what young Irish author had not yet written his major works? Ulysses and Finnegan's <laughs> wife, Cloverleaf. Joyce. Joyce is right. Elected officials like to be thought of as brave lions, but an officer holder who cannot succeed himself is known as what kind of lame bird? Westlake. Duck. Duck is right. In Carol Chopik's play, R-U-R, -R, the second R, Cloverleaf. Universal. Stands for robots. Choice, sudden intensity of the northern lights is triggered by streams of charged particles called solar wind, jet, Westlake. Neutrinos. No, solar wind. To the monitor, this ambitious statement comes from what sea captain, the first European to visit Hawaii, which he called the Sandwich Islands, Ignatius? Cook. Cook is right. What is the area of the smallest square that can be circ circumscribed around a circle with a radius of three inches? Ignatius? 18. 36. Sometimes people demand an eye for an eye, but what did Shylock demand in the Ignatius? No, no a pound of flesh. A book titled Onward, it takes on the story of what African-American explorer who reached the North Pole along with Robert Peary? Matthew Henson. To the monitor, our civil war was not confined to American waters. The Confederate ship Nashville attacked a Union ship in what body of water between Dover and Calais? Cloverleaf. English Channel. English Channel is right. In 1988, Kenneth Deardorff became the last person granted title to land under what large land grant act that was signed into law in 1862? Yes, Cloverleaf. Memorial. No, the Homestead Act. Had you gone on a crusade with Richard the Lionhearted, you would have been defeated by what Saracen leader, Cloverleaf? Saladin. Saladin is correct. The buzzer means the game is over. Let's take a look at our final standings tonight. In third place, 340 points, Westlake. In second place, 405, St. Ignatius. And our season champion this year, 495 points, is Cloverleaf. Congratulations, guys. Hey, don't go anywhere. Coming up next, Westfield Insurance here with our check presentation. Stay with us. All right, welcome back to Academic Challenge. Joining us now from Westfield Insurance, Marianne Parkinson and Debbie Burke. Guys, again, another terrific year. Such an honor for Channel 5 to be teamed up with you. Westfield is proud to partner with News Channel 5 and sponsor the Academic Challenge. And congratulations to all the teams who made it to the finale. And especially Westlake for your third place finish. We are happy to present this check for $2,500 to the school. All right, congratulations. John and Sandy Pappas are the advisors. John, a great match, a terrific season for Westlake. Yes, I'm very pleased with what they've done this year. They had the high score of the year, and uh, they work very hard every week, and I'm pleased with their efforts. All right, very good. Well, third place, nothing to be ashamed of, yeah. making it to the championship. Very important. Right, come on down here. Second place team, St. Ignatius. And let's again get with the uh, check presentation. Here we go. St. Ignatius, congratulations on your second place finish this year, and we're proud to present a check for $3,000 to your school. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. John Barker is the advisor of St. Ignatius. John, a terrific match. You guys are always a very strong team. Well, thanks so much. It was a really tight match, so congratulations to both other teams. Uh, it was a tight one from the get-go, so well done all. All right, congratulations to St. Ignatius, second place. Very impressive. Hey, our winner tonight, our season champion, Cloverleaf. Check presentation time, the big one. Cloverleaf, congratulations on your first place finish for the 2014 season of Academic Challenge. We're proud to present this check of $4,000 to your school. You. Yeah. Terrific. All right, Cameron Flint, you are the advisor for Cloverleaf. What an accomplishment, uh, Cloverleaf, to come in here and, and be the season champion, also after the tiebreaker to even advance. Uh, yeah, the kids have worked hard uh, starting with summer camp this summer. They've been over 20 invitationals this year. They practice three times a week. I've never had a harder bunch of kids in, in all the years I've coached this team, so I'm very pleased and very proud with them. All right, congratulations, Cloverleaf, St. Ignatius, Westlake, a terrific season, and to all the schools that competed uh, this year on Academic Challenge. So, again, a terrific season. Have a great summer. We'll see you next fall for another season of Academic Challenge. I'm Jason Nicholas. Class dismissed. Good night, everybody.
Academic Challenge has been brought to you by Westfield Insurance. Hey!